and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Wednesday the 7th of September. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst Go Markets here with your daily look around what's happening in markets now. Let's look at what's going across the news today. And of course, US markets finished lower again last night. Choppy session and really bond yields rising again were the major culprit. We did see some defensive stocks outperform, so certainly growth stocks, particularly tech, underperformed. Not a massive sell-off, but one that continues the general negative sentiment around markets at the minute. US futures are trading negatively in Asian trading as well, uh, down around about half a percent as we're recording this. And Asian indices look very weak across the board. The ASX at its low was 1.5% to the downside, which is seven weeks lows, despite mixed GDP data, which actually was better than last month, but slightly below expectations on the month-on-month figure. European equity futures are pointed to a lower open again. Not surprisingly, the US dollar index closed higher to retest those 20-year highs on the back of that increase in bond yields. Uh, slightly higher again in Asia, uh, and as a result, uh, gold is under significant pressure. It's retesting the important 17 100 level is actually trading below that in the Asian session at this stage. Oil also looks bearish as a key level is tested on that. And copper is still trading in that 340 to 350 range that we've discussed previously. The VIX spiked not surprisingly and is now back over 25 at six week highs on the back of that equity market weakness. Bitcoin is also under significant pressure. We are testing the June support at 18,700 in this morning's trading in Asia. Australian GDP is already out as I've indicated, uh, Chinese trade balance likewise. Uh, the BOE is reporting in the UK. We've got Eurozone GDP and jobs data, Canadian interest rates and the US Fed's beige book release in the US. Make for a busy day today across the board. Lots for markets to digest and possibly one of the reasons why we saw that caution yesterday. A couple of charts which are catching our eye this morning. Uh, worthwhile looking at Paladin Energy again in the uranium space. We're now up to 90. We made this a chart of the day when it was around about 80. That's pushed up higher and looks as though it's got some legs left in. It could see this up near a dollar over the coming days if this buying momentum continues. There's no doubt of the buying pressure that is there. And on the FX front, we are keeping an eye on the GB pound USD. We can see, despite the resolution of a new prime minister in the UK, we did see weakness in the GB pound yesterday, which has pushed us down on this monthly chart to test a really important level around about 115 on that monthly chart. If we move this to a daily chart, you can see how we bounced along this level for the last three sessions, but we are pushing through it at 114.84. In this morning's trading, we would probably move this level down to 114.55 for a potential opportunity to the downside. That could precipitate some significant selling pressure if that level is breached. We haven't breached this at all since, since March 2020, which is obviously pre-pandemic. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.